everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have an island tour for you all and it's my island, it's Puddle. We are on my rainy day kid court island and I finished it and I'm super excited to be touring it today. Before we get started, I'd love if you could like, comment and subscribe. Come and join the Jellybean family, we are so close to 5k. Come on, let's get there soon, let's do this. So like I said, this is my rainy day kid court island, it is called Puddle. This is why we have the letter P as my flag. It was just a code I already had downloaded. So yeah, I was just like, the P will do, it looks cute. I actually did the same thing for my Island Glimmer, but I used the G instead. So yeah, it was just a fun idea. As you can see, I have a lovely, a bright, colorful yellow airport. I mainly used primary colors on this Kid Court Island. So the yellow airport was definitely perfect, but you'll notice that as we walk around as well. And here is the map for Puddle and now the DA isn't currently at the bottom because I haven't set it yet but it will be at the beginning of the video and in the description. But here are my villagers. So I have me, Marina, Henry, Octavian, Broccolo, Chabwick, Jeremiah, Freckles, Puddles, Scoot and Joey. As you may notice most of these villagers are quite small and that's why I chose them. They're small, colourful and actually to be honest most of them enjoy the rain so that's why I chose them. As you can see by looking at my map I've used a lot of the in-game pathing but I've also popped some custom codes on top of that to make it look so fun and yeah there's lots of puddles everywhere as well. You'll see that as we walk around. I've also done a lot of terraforming on this island and some waterscaping. I made a cute little duck pond as you can see at the top of the map there which which might I add was such a fun build so go check out the video. Here we are at the entrance of course and I always like to start at the airport on all my tours so that won't be changing for my island. But as you can see there is a cardboard castle going around the front entrance and now I got the inspiration for the cardboard castle from EJ Play so thank you to them for making their amazing cardboard castle on their island because now I have one on mine it's just so adorable. Now some of you may be wondering how is a cardboard castle going to survive in the rain and it's because it's a magic castle okay it's magic that's all that I need to say about it. I have a cute little cardboard table here with some snacks on and some froggy chairs around it which I think is quite an adorable place to sit. Maybe not in the rain though. Along here we have our first two villager houses and this is Octavian's house. There isn't a lot of space around his house so I couldn't put too many items but that's okay I didn't want to clutter this area up too much. In between the two houses we have a cute little playground. We got some springy ride-ons there, a playground gym, tire stacks, sand pit elephant slide, all the good stuff that you'd find in a playground. If we carry on to the right side though, we have this cute little bench seating area, got a red and a yellow bench, and I think they just go perfectly together, those two colours. Over here we have Marina's house, and Marina also has quite a small area to decorate, so I gave her some cute adorable things, and a cute pink skateboard, because you know she's pink. Behind Marina's house there is these two storefronts, which is just meant to be a shed, I guess. It's just still like a shed. I don't want to go up that incline, so we're going to head to the left side here, which will take us to resident services. Now I haven't decorated any of my interiors in my house and I also haven't decorated my beaches so you don't have to worry about looking at those. But over this bridge we go, we've got a lovely brick bridge of course, and KK Slider is here! Which means it's a Saturday and it's raining so yay rain at the weekend, just like England. Now to the right side of resident services I've left lots and lots of gifts. This was originally meant to be a large DIY section but I didn't collect enough DIYs and I also needed space to put the gifts for my dreamers. <laughs> Behind resident services and over the train track you get to Broccolo's farm. Now I wanted to do quite a old classic build for this, I didn't want to actually plant the vegetables. I wanted to do it how we used to do it. I was calling these nostalgic builds because I felt like this is what we used to do. We used to have the dirt coat and then put the vegetables on top and the balls that were customised as watermelons. And yeah, it just feels nostalgic. But this is Broccolo's house. He's got a cute little picnic to the side of his house. And then this area where he keeps his tractor and some of his tools and things. And I love this little area. It's so cute and adorable. Make sure when you visit, you carry on to the left side because this gets us to a dead end. So you won't be able to go any further soon. But there is a green ladder here. So you can get to the upper level if you want to, but we're not gonna go that way today. If you carry on, like I said, you get to the apple orchard. And I also have my island's name up there. I finally got the last two blocks. If you were in my stream, the island was just called Pud <laughs> instead of Puddle because I didn't have a block for the L and the E. So yeah, <laughs> there's a cute little apple area where you can sit and eat some pie and some apple goodies. And if you cut through the actual orchard itself, it leads you to this small little pond area where you can just sit, enjoy the fishes and the rain and even more rain, I guess. <laughs> 
We're back at Resident Services and we're just going to take a left here towards Puddle Train Station. There's some cute little plushies on the back of the train here. And this was such a fun, cute build and I feel like it's so colourful. I had so much fun. It, do you know what? To be honest, I think this might have been my favourite build on the whole entire island. I don't know what it was about it. I think it was just the nostalgic cuteness about it. After we leave the bike parking area, if we head to the left, you'll find a ladder. This ladder will take you up inside the cardboard castle, but we're not going to go up that way today. We're going to go around the long way. So I've come back to the entrance and we're going to take a left along this colourful pathway. I love these towels, by the way. They're so cute. And then we get a better view of the cardboard castle from here. You can actually go up inside the cardboard castle like I said just a minute ago and we're gonna go up this way because I feel like it's the best way to go. Also before I forget all the codes that I've used on this island you'll find them listed in the description down below along with some of the creators socials. You'll also find them on each of the builds that I did for this island on my channel in the playlist puddle so be sure to check them out. Here we are inside the cardboard castle and as you can see we've got quite a natural area over here which I built most of this on a stream, I believe. And then this part over here, I kind of changed around a little bit a few times because I didn't really know what I was going to do with it. I've decided to just literally chuck loads of cardboard codes down and cardboard items, you know, because it is a cardboard castle after all. So this is the area where they're basically storing the cardboard, ready to make the cardboard castle even bigger. We also have Scoot here, bless him. Hello, Scoot with his little umbrella. Now here's that ladder I was talking about and down by the train station. So you can see where it actually leads to and we're just going to follow the pathway along and back down here. There is actually an exit just on the left right there, but I'm going to go down and through this entrance instead so we can see the whole neighbourhood properly. This is a build I did recently on my channel and this is a little party area so you can come here and enjoy your birthday and dance on this little dance floor which I think is adorable. And then we have a villager house just to the right here. This is Chadwick's house and Chadwick basically likes to make model robots and model toys and things like that and also apparently drops snacks everywhere, bless him. Now I'll just quickly have a look around his little designing area but you can see the little conveyor belt and robot arm and all the cute goodies and they're all blue because he's blue. Wow, his house is blue. Is he blue? I think he's blue. Now we come to our trio of houses. This is our little duck villagers and we got Freckles here already with our cute little coat and hat. To the left side we have Joey, right side Scoot and here is Freckles house. I gave Freckles a cute little uh, playground in her yard because why not, you know? Why wouldn't she enjoy a playground in her yard? Heading out towards the back of the neighbourhood, you can head down this incline. This will lead you to a little a football pitch here with just one goal because that's all I could fit in. But this also is attached to the campsite. If you head to the left through these fencing pieces here, you'll get to the campsite, which I feel is like a very overgrown, and it looks like it's starting to flood, to be honest, with all these big puddles, but I feel like it's a very overgrown and natural campsite, which I really enjoy, and I feel like it's so colourful as well. If you go and squeeze through this part though, next to the right side of the campsite, this will lead you to a ladder, which takes you up to some villager houses, but that's the shortcut. We're going to go the long way. We're back inside the castle cardboard now and we're going to head through this top gate up here and over my rainbow land bridge. I just built this off camera because it was just a random build that I decided to do last minute and I kind of love it. And it also leads over to the froggy houses which I built in my last build for my island puddle. If you hop over to this little island in the middle of the pond you'll find three froggy chairs. The pink one is for Puddles, the green one is for Henry and the blue one is for Jeremiah and I thought it was just a nice cute personal touch. Now we're in Jeremiah's yard first because you can tell he's here, he's just admiring all his stuff he has around. The idea for Jeremiah's yard was that he likes to work on some of the electrical things around the island such as the train and this rocket here and he likes to repair them basically. I guess he's kind of a tinkerer or a repair type frog, I don't know, he's just cute and I thought it was a cute hobby for him to have. If we hop on over to this side we get to Henry's house. Henry likes to play musical instruments so that's why he's got kind of like a little band practicing area here which I think is so adorable for him. Now I do realise the frogs are trapped on these little islands but to be honest they could just swim and get to the mainland so yeah that's not my problem. On this last little section of this part of the tour though we have found Puddles house. Puddles has a cute little picnic in her yard because I feel like she'd love to just sit outside even in the rain and enjoy a lovely picnic with her teddy bear friends. Now that we've hopped on over back to the mainland we're gonna head to the right side. There's some more little jumping stones here and you want to jump across these and head up this ladder. 
This will lead you to our sleepover area, which I feel is so, so cozy. I mean, maybe not in the rain. It will probably be a good idea to have a roof over your head if you wanted to sleep here. Maybe you could make a roof of umbrellas or something. I don't know. Or we could just use our imagination and pretend you don't get wet in this area like magic because let's be honest, no one wants a soggy pillow. I used quite a few bits of the patchwork furniture in this area as you can see because I feel like it was just perfect and overall I really thought this was a cute cozy build. Let's hop on back over to the other side and we're going to take this narrow path to the right. This leads you to the area just behind the puddle sign that we saw earlier and also gives you a great view of my duck pond. Now if you want to know how I created this duck pond I have got a tutorial in my video. Hopefully it's nice and easy to follow but yeah if you want to know how to do it because you want to do it on your island definitely go check out that video. Now we've headed down the incline and we're walking around the duck pond which actually leads you to Red Secret Beach and my house. I think I said it earlier but I haven't actually decorated the interior of my house. I also haven't decorated any of my beaches so red beaches are decorated either. To the right side of my house I have this cute little DIY area. This was another nostalgic build that I decided to build and I think it's so cute. I love it. Now heading back up the other side on the other incline which is blue. The other one was white. I wanted to have two different colours. We can head down another narrow path. This actually leads you to a fun fair which we built the majority of this on stream but I did quickly finish it off because there wasn't much left else to do. We have all the plaza furniture here and if you head to the back we've got a cute little seating area which is on the back of the island so you could just pan up here and look at the ocean which I think is quite a nice touch. Let's head back up through the fun feather and to the right side which is going to lead us to the museum. So here is the museum, we've got two little cute balloons here in front and these two tall items either side are the plaza clocks which I just turned around so you can't actually see the clock and I think they look really fun and actually quite nice. To the right side of the museum I decided to just put a big massive dinosaur basically, we've got a big dinosaur fossil and a cute walkway and also the dinosaur standee just to give that more fun element to this area. In front of the museum area though we do have a laundrette, laundromat, I don't know how you say it, is it laundrette or laundromat? Dramat. Anyway, we have one of those where you can wash your clothes. And then you may have noticed the incline just there, the white one. That actually leads down to Broccolo's house, so we won't be heading down there because we've already seen that area. Carrying on down the road though, we get to Abel Sisters. And now Abel Sisters is quite a simple area. It's just got a cute little seating area for the outside and also a little outdoor clothing buying area, I guess. I don't know. I just kind of like the little bear selling clothes outside. I thought it was adorable. In front of Abel Sisters, however, we do have Nook's Cranny. Nook's Cranny is obviously got loads of boxes in front of it because they're clearly getting a delivery next to nook's cranny there's also this very cute little colorful gas station and i think it's so adorable i remember when we all used to put gas stations next to nook's cranny so i definitely had to do one on this island as my nostalgic build to the right side of nook's cranny though we actually have a diving area i've left you all a little suit so you can put it on and go diving if you wish to but i remember when we all used to do this as well as soon as the diving came out for this game everyone used to build diving areas and just used to run and jump off and it was just so much fun i believe though that was the last spot for us to look at on this tour today so let's head back down this incline carry on to the left behind marina and octavian's house and there's that playground we saw earlier and this leads us to the bridge that leads us back to resident services and there it is, my finished island puddle. I hope you all enjoyed the tour. I enjoyed building this island so much and I really liked the addition of making it rain and having the puddles everywhere. That was just so fun. By the way, thank you for all the support I had building this island. I feel like you guys really enjoyed it as well. So yeah, that's super good. Now, if you did enjoy it though and you enjoyed the tour and the island, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Come and join the Jellybean family. I hope you have a lovely day, my friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.